These restrictions are almost impossible to eliminate. State law permits them to be attached to the land that like tattoos. When you buy a house, you buy the uh, condo, they're there. That's it. In order to remove them, you have to have the some like 65 to 95 percent of the homeowners to vote to do. remove them. That's impossible. So they cannot be amended because the state created these little monsters. The only way to get rid of them is for the state to step in and remove them. Or in the case we're dealing with the federal government, because communications, amateur radio, any type of communication is preempted by the federal communications commissions. They have absolute control and they have in the past acted to deal with this. But 80% of all new housing developments right now contain use restrictions that prohibit the installation of antennas outside of residence, townhome, condo, single family residence, they make a difference. But if that continues, as you pointed out in your introduction, sooner or later, amateur radio is gonna be choked out of existence. You can't, you do an excellent job of training people and getting them licensed, but who are you gonna to talk to? If you can't operate from your home, how can you talk to anyone else? We exist for four principal reasons by law. One of those reasons is to provide a free voluntary emergency communications backup service to the nation. If you go through the last 100 plus years of disasters, emergencies, you will find that amateur radio has stepped up and as National Weather Service will say in writing, amateur radio saves lives. If you talk to FEMA, we are one of the key planning components for FEMA. In fact, in many of their planning modules for the states and the cities, they insist that amateur radio will be considered as a backup. This reason the motto, when all else fails, came into existence.